I'd like all you great Aggies to give a warm Aggie welcome to a guy that certainly deserves it, Robbie L. Keane, class of 78. To be able to wrap up this career that I've been doing for 41 years and this touring thing, and be able to come back to a and where I started, you couldn't write it in a script and make it better. It's fantastic. I think Aggies take a, a great deal of pride in uh, Robert's success. His music is easily relatable to most Aggies. I mean, you can't go to the Dixie Chicken or a lot of different watering holes around here and not hear Robert Earl Keane. Anyone who comes to Texas A&M is gonna hear the name Robert Earl Keane. I tell people I've played everything from a garage sale to the Kennedy Center. I played at Carnegie Hall. But I had great memories at Texas A&M and great memories of the friends that I made here. And all of those come rushing back and it's just always great to have that touchstone. I literally borrowed my sister's guitar when I drove up uh, to A&M, I'd say about a month after I was here, early in the fall of 74. And I, you know, had a book that the 10 greatest country songs, uh, you know, ever written or whatever. And I learned a D chord and I just sat there and played that D chord over and over. And I just thought that I had discovered gold or something. And I don't think I really ever looked back from that moment. I didn't go around telling people because I, I knew that like, you know, the chances of actually, you know, being successful in the music business, even as little as I knew about it, weren't great. But I learned more, I played with a lot of people up here. And, you know, after I left a and the point then was to start really doing something in the music business. You know, 80% of my, my job in, in the world of music has been on the road. And the road, will wear you down. And I, felt, and I felt like that. And I felt like I was wearing down and I don't want to be that person. I want to go out the way I came in with a lot of passion and enthusiasm. Robert is such a talent, but more than that, such a good person. He's in touch with his fans. He's not distant. He's not arrogant. He is, uh, he's close to his fans and he wants to be close to his fans. Yeah, it's up to me. I'd play all night long. Playing music just for the sake of playing music is for me, there's no better, more satisfying activity that a person can be involved in. That's one of the finest things a human being can do. He's always been exactly the same and that consistency and he's, you know, he's just a, a real normal guy. I think people can relate to that. Um, and I think that that's one of the reasons why people appreciate him the way that they do. And I was shocked, like many people, my good friend Robert Keane announced that he was gonna retire from performing and no longer be on the road. And it hit me that uh, uh, if I could talk him into a farewell to Aggie Land as part of his coming home tour, I wanted to do that. Porter Garner and I have been friends for 40 years and he asked me if I'd be willing to do this and, and I said, well, absolutely. The way it fits into what I'm trying to do, which is, you know, get out there and play to as many people as possible before I call it a day. And uh, this one fits just so great. It just felt right. It's, it's not the school itself that's great, although it is great. It can do many things for you, but, but the opportunities that you have once you graduate from this school are unlimited. And, uh, and I would have to say, I'm a really great example of that because, you know, my whole mantra has always been brute force and ignorance, and that doesn't always work in school. <laughs> Robert's come back uh, several times for really big events. Some of those include like First Yell. In 2013 at Kyle Field, he played the Hurricane Harvey Benefit concert in 2017 at Reed Arena, which was an amazing event that brought out all the living former presidents um, and also a, a wide array of artists. The most significant concert I think uh, that Robert has played here was the Bonfire Benefit concert in February of 2000, uh, just months after the bonfire collapse. I got a lot of calls from all over the world, from Aggies wanting to help. 
but among the earliest calls were Lyle Lovett and Robert Earl King, just wanting to know what they could do and how they could help. And in fact, it was their idea to, uh, to hold a benefit concert. And we put that concert together in 28 days, sold out Reed Arena, raised a ton of money for the victims of Bonfire, and had both Lyle and his band and Robert and his band on stage at the same time in Reed Arena. He and Lyle had not played together on a major concert in Bryan College Station, period. And so they came together and, um, and played together, and that was a, a really inspiring night. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening, we are honored to recognize this year's recipients of the Distinguished Alumnus Award. Robert Earl Keane, class of 1978 of Purville, Texas. I've always thought he was a distinguished alumnus. He didn't need a medal to become distinguished, but to formally uh, surprise him with the highest honor bestowed upon a former student of Texas A&M uh, was an emotional moment for both of us. Well, you know, we were doing a show and then they brought up the Corps of Cadets. So I was up there and then they started talking about this thing and I, it, it started to dawn on me that they might be talking about me. And then they said that, you know, that I had been, uh, you know, chosen as a distinguished alumni, which was like, that was beyond my wildest dreams. Anybody says, uses that phrase, that one, that one applies 100%. And I, I started crying. I, I just, it was so overwhelming and emotional, you know. I have a lot of respect for Robert Keene, the artist, like we all do, but I have, more respect for Robert Keene, the man. Robert Earl Keene is more than just a notable name among Texas A&M graduates. Obviously, there are a lot of uh, success stories in all walks of life that have come from A&M, agriculture and engineering and the military and government and public service. But for fans of the arts, it's always been comforting to know that there's this Aggie artist who is a masterful songwriter and who crafts these stories in a really intriguing way. And so for fans of the arts and really for anyone related to Texas A&M University, I think that's something to be proud of, that Robert Earl Keane is an Aggie. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. We hope to see you. Well, you ain't gonna see me on the road unless you pick me up hitchhiking, all right. Robert Earl Keane, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let him know how much Aggies love him. <laughs>